When Riley Ann was about three months old, I noticed some signs that she wasn't making any milestones. I would look at some videos of other babies because I'm a new parent and just seeing her so different from the other babies. She wasn't rolling, she wasn't moving much. Uh, we didn't want to be those parents that were fretting over every little thing, but definitely by three months we were seeing these signs of eyes crossing, uh, tongue thrusting, twisting of the limbs, and becoming tense. No sleep, watching your daughter suffer, not having an answer. And as a father, I want to, I want to be proactive. I want to do something. And he, my wife is bawling her eyes out. My daughter's in pain, and there's nothing I can do. Okay, step one. Her official diagnosis is called AADC deficiency. I remember googling, and it says no cure available. And at the time, I was, I was. I don't, my, my heart just shattered and I thought it was over. Once we learned that there was a clinical trial spot open, we were so thankful. The doctor told us she had to be eligible, so they were gonna do some checks on her, and then we had to keep her alive. Before that point, every month we were in the ICU. Either she gets gene therapy or she dies. The reason that gene therapy is so promising, especially for some of these patients that have these rare genetic diseases, is potentially you could have one procedure or one infusion uh, within the brain. And just by having the one procedure, you're able to correct the genetic defect so that the patient has um, restorative life for the rest of their life. So for gene therapy to be used currently in clinical trial, it really requires opening up the skull, um, opening up the, the brain tissue, and then directly in injecting uh, within the brain tissue uh, a viral or biomaterial vector that can deliver the genetic content to the, the neurons within the brain. I thought you forgot after her name. About a month afterwards, uh, she starts reaching for things. She starts to sit up shortly after. So. In our community, that's huge. She went from being basically paraplegic, can't move, can't thrive, to inter interacting with the world. Now, let's see if you remember. Yeah. Yes, you do know. Very good. But how She has this infectious laugh, this infectious smile, and she loves when everyone's around and we're all just having fun. She loves it. You good job, Riley. Just so happy to see that she's able to go through all this and go to school with her friends today, play. It's a new life for her. Oh, good job, that's right.